in the coop when I pass you. Strip chilling on my wrist, know about you. Pray to God every day, nearly time to. Yo, what's up guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make that insane clone effect that you just saw in the beginning of this video inside of Premiere Pro. So yeah, enjoy the video. So here I'm inside of Premiere Pro and also before the video starts, I will try to make this tutorial as soon as I can because there are some things that you wanna know before you apply my presets. So yeah. So here, after you put your clip to a timeline, first you know find the frame where you want that clone effect to start. So I've already marked the frame. So after you select the frame, you wanna cut it from that point, and then you wanna select this part of the clip and hold Alt and drag that away. So it'll create a duplicate of the clip. Then you wanna go to the beginning right here, and you right click and you wanna click on Add a Frame Hold. So what this will do, it likes freeze frame this frame so yeah you can stretch it if you'd like to and also you can like do this you can do whatever you like to do but the point is it'll let a freeze frame so now we can mask this character out and also if you don't want to add this freeze frame you can obviously like uh, like mask this whole character when it is moving without adding the freeze frame you know that's your personal preference you can do whatever you like to do but yeah so after you add the freeze frame, you're gonna go to the beginning of that clip, like the layer starts, and you're gonna click on the timer, uh, you're gonna type as plus uh, 40, and then you're gonna cut it and delete the other part, of because you actually don't need that, and obviously you can uh, delete the audio, and then you can put the other clip like that, then you wanna find the frame where you get the kill, so it's right around here, when the, like, the damage is uh, visible just find a frame like that and you can cut it and delete the other part and do like that then we can add the velocity so you know right click go on show clip keyframes time mapping and enable speed and then go to the beginning keyframe it on the beginning and you can increase the speed to around i would say maybe like 300 should be good so i'm gonna make it 300 just like so and then go like five frames to your right keyframe it again and then you can decrease the speed to i would say like maybe 35 should be good just like that and now the effect should look something like this so after you've done that what you guys want to do is you want to mask your character out so try to make the mask as perfect as you can so the effect will look super clean so you can do this with in premiere pro by getting by getting the free drawbacks here the, under the opacity so just mask this character out with the pen tool if you have photoshop you can do this pretty easily with photoshop if you would like to so i've already masked the clip so i'm just gonna copy and paste it right here because why not paste it right here do like that so after you mask your character out you can actually apply the presets so make sure if you like mask your character like this make sure you nest the clip okay if not the effect will look pretty bad so make sure you nest the clip and then go ahead and download my preset and right click on your presets bin click on import presets select my preset click on open and go ahead and search up as clone uh like that and it should the preset should pop up right here then when hold alt and drag that up so it'll create duplicate and then again hold or drag that up so you have uh, three uh, layers of this you know like the mask character so yeah so after you've done that you can apply the presets so first you want to drag and drop the background effects frame hold to the like the like the very bottom track and then the effect should look something like this and then you can drag and drop the character preset three to the top track and then the character preset two to the like the second track and the character preset one to the like the bottom character mask layer if that makes sense and yeah after that you get effect just like this and then you select all these layers right click you nest the clip click ok and then you go you want to go ahead and drag and drop the put on everything after nest to this uh, uh nested sequence and then you will be good to go and also another thing that you can do is add the overlay so this is optional 
if you want you can uh, add, uh, add this overlay i will link the overlay in the description and also the things that you will be need will be in the description so now put the overlay delete the audio and you can cut it right here at the like the 40 frames mark and you can delete the other part just like that and then select this uh, thing and you know open up opacity and change the blend mode of that to overlay it should look something like this then you know change the opacity to around i would say 20 should be good and then select the uh, like the overlay and click ctrl d so it looks something like this you will have like fade in fade out and fade out effects and then just decrease the uh, fade out to in five frames also do the same thing with the uh, beginning just fade in with five frames and fade out in uh, five frames and then the effect should look something like this and then you can now we can apply the impact so i'm gonna nest the clip after you so after you apply the time ramping make sure to nest the clip and then you can add your impact at this impact or you can add your custom impact if you'd like to and now you can sync uh, at the song and you can add the sound effect so i'm just gonna copy all these things and i'm just gonna paste it to this just like so and also guys the song name and the sound effects will be linked in the presets just like so so after you've done all these things you can go right here click i go to the end click o and click on sequence click on render into out and you can play this effect smoothly so i'm just gonna play it So it is pretty laggy because I did not render the clip but after you render the clip it will look super clean and you can play this effect uh, smoothly. But yeah that's pretty much it for the video and thank you so much for watching this video until the end and be sure to like and subscribe the channel. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you guys on my next video. Peace. <laughs>